Hi folks, this is Nancy D again, and thank you for letting me join you today. I'm here with Bomber, the Black Lab, and Chunky Chocolate over here, the chocolate. And we have an update for you with several nice new listings and some price revisions, which I want to remind you folks out there uh, that sometimes after our show is aired, we do reduce our prices or we change them for whatever reason. So check on the MLS site with the MLS number and you'll be sure to have the correct price. Bear in mind, today you're going to see our newest listings, our updates and our price reductions. And then my other show that we did a couple weeks ago will be joined with us where Katie was present and she couldn't be here today, unfortunately. And we will have updates on pricing on all those as well in this segment. Okay, our first new listing is a custom contemporary, one owner built up in Boulder Ridge. It is absolutely beautiful. It's four bedrooms, it could easily be a five, uh, with three full baths, and it's only about three years old. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the square footage, I forgot, I think it's somewhere near to 4,000. And we have custom, the owner built this for himself, so this isn't something built to sell. Big difference as far as quality. We've got cherry kitchens, we've got hardwood floors, the real deal hardwood floors, not laminated. We have quartz countertops. We have a Badurus heat system in floor heating, which is the best you can get. We have travertine tile flooring and wide plank gleaming hardwood floors throughout. Formal living room, uh, fireplace, custom shelving, big dining room, tray ceilings, gorgeous setting, big lot with a jacuzzi in the master bedroom suite and a huge, huge master bedroom. All the bedrooms are, are nice size. Lifetime architectural shingles, foam insulation, high density, vinyl shake siding that is the vinyl, so it's no care, but it looks like the real shakes. Three car attached garage, storage building, and it's natural gas heat. Okay, right now it's $4.99. In fact, he just reduced this from $5.39, so it's an excellent buy. I have a motivated seller uh, that's not gonna be staying in that area. Number two is out towards Carthage, and it's really updated and restored to perfection. This house is circa 1880. To look at it, you would never, ever know. This family has gone through it from top to bottom. They put a family room on the back that was not there with a big deck. So we have nearly 2,200 square feet. We have a gorgeous front kitchen, new stainless appliances, four bedrooms, two baths. Dining room is so large along the front with a fireplace, it'll easily accommodate a huge formal table and a little cozy place for TV for the kids. If you're eating dinner, you want the kids or grandkids or your kids to go over and, and stay in the same room. Upstairs, we have three more big bedrooms and a second bath. The first floor has the master suite, by the way, and it's lovely. Okay, the price is $199.5, and that's out on County Route 47. Our next one's got to be the, one of the cutest, nicest houses in the city of Watertown, located at 129 Chestnut Street, three to four bedrooms with one and a half baths. It's just as darling as it can be. We have hardwood floors, red brick fireplace. It's almost like an arts and crafts style inside. It's charming. The kitchen's been updated. Uh, there's a cozy den on the first floor that right now their son is using it for his own bed, bedroom, if you will. And downstairs is a finished family room for the kids to watch TV and the teenagers to clamor in and not be bothering mom and dad in the front formal living room. We have box beam ceilings and decorative wood panels throughout, uh, recent stainless appliances, and the bathroom upstairs got a beautiful jet tub and a two-car garage right over on Chestnut Street for 2029. You can't beat that house. It's darling. It's really nice, well-maintained throughout. Okay, this, folks, is a very new listing at $299,000. It's one owner built, 2,304 square feet, and that does not count the lower level. It's an absolutely beautiful contemporary, five bedrooms and two full baths. It's got a huge open air feel to it. Kitchen, dining room, living room, family room, all kind of combined, which is nice, and it's bright. There's big windows, vaulted ceilings, uh, beautifully done inside. A maple cabinetry in the kitchen, a, a beautiful master bedroom and master bath on the first floor with a deep soaked tub, 
and three to four bedrooms upstairs, three to four bedrooms, excuse me, three bedrooms on the first floor with a fourth up, which is awfully nice because it's very private. If so, and it, the, the kitchen there is 26 by 16, as I recall, and it's out of this world. So give us a call. We'd love to show you. There's 13.84 acres with it, so you're going to get some land. You can go out and run those toys around. Okay, the next one I'd like to introduce to you is down in Adams. And right now we've got a young military family that have gone right through it from top to bottom. It shows beautifully. There's 2,060 square feet. Built in 1950, but you'd never know it because there's no 1950 left. It has a very unique mudroom, which is ideal in Watertown, New York, or Adams, New York, because it goes from the front to the back of the house, so you can access it either way. The garage is attached. We have four bedrooms and two baths. Two of the bedrooms are on the first floor with a great big bathroom. And upstairs, a nice kitchen, uh, dining room, living room combination. And upstairs, they've added a beautiful master bath with a cherry vanity and a uh, two-person shower and the deep soak tub, which is a jet tub, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Asking 194.5. That's right down on Robert Street in Adams. The next one is, again, a new listing, 167.9. I don't think it can be equaled for the space and the condition of this property. It's over on Moffat Street, which is only a couple blocks from Thompson Park. Again, it's an arts and crafts, kind of a bungalow style, so you have some of those quaint arch ceilings upstairs. Four bedrooms, a bath and a half. 1,735 square feet with a full basement and a great yard. Gas heat. It feels much bigger than that. And we have a formal dining room, a brick fireplace, a cozy den or office on the front, plus two bedrooms and a bathroom on the main floor. Then upstairs, there's two more bedrooms and a half bath up there. It's uh, beautifully located. It's Knickerbocker Schools, a nice sized lot, and everything has been newly done in it. The windows, the siding, the flooring, a kitchen with a center island, and a nice pantry. You couldn't ask for a nicer house for that kind of money. Also has central AC and a new roof. Fenced in backyard, 167.9 Moffat Street. Okay, this is a big folks, a big house folks. <laughs> if you're looking for something with five bedrooms and two baths and a lot of square footage, try 3734. I think at one time it was actually used as a two-family, and if you go back to the history, it actually was a doctor's office and his house in a little village out of Theresa on Riverside Drive. That's what the, the physicians did years ago. They didn't have offices downtown. They had the offices in their house. I think he had room for his help upstairs, if I recall correctly. It's right opposite the Indian River. There's actually a little park over there, so if you want to take the kids over and have a little, it's a park side pull-off, really, have a little picnic and watch the water. It's beautiful. 168.9 is our asking price and it's got a beautiful lot. Uh, 100 by 110, a detached two-car garage. Great big family kitchen. Beautiful kitchen with a breakfast bar. Dining room's next door to it. Living room with a cozy wood stove that'll heat that whole house. The taxes are reasonable. Best thing, how about the Theresa Village Electric? Very, very cheap very inexpensive. You'll save a lot of money down there on, in that home. Listing up on Academy Street, 818 Academy Street, four bedroom, two bath. Listed for $169.9. Just a beautiful family house. Uh, there's uh, built in 1887, four bedrooms, two full baths. They actually made a half bath downstairs into a full bath by taking two closets. Very cleverly done, I must say. 2,118 square feet, and it's a beautiful kitchen. You can get online That's and gorgeous. see it. Uh, I believe it's oak. It's Eden. There's a great big breakfast bar, and there's a cozy gas fireplace in the breakfast room. Formal dining room, some nice curved walls, the original banistered staircase, a lot of charm. It's got Up that cozy gas fireplace, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have a pellet stove in the entryway if you really want to cut down on heat. Uh, it does a good job. You can get you can get online and see our picture. She's done a little girls' room that's just as cute as it can be. Looks like a country magazine. Yeah, full does. attic, uh, fenced-in yard, full basement gas heat. 
Okay, this one will be complete opposite of the last one. This is a ranch. My Brady Bunch house. Yeah, it's just about what it feels like inside. It's 1628 square feet, and it's wonderfully located over on Shalai Drive, which everybody knows is right around the corner from Sherman School, right off of Sherman Street. The hospitals. Near the hospital, yeah. walk to the schools, walk to the shopping. Uh, it is listed at 159000 and we have three bedrooms and a bath and a half. A great big master bedroom was added with mm. gorgeous, gorgeous oak floors. They just refinished. Beautiful floors. Yep. Uh, fireplace in there, yep. like fireplace heater, gas, natural heat. gas. Yeah. And the half bath off the master. And if you get online and look, you'll see stone walls in there. Mm. It actually was a wood burning fireplace that they've disconnected, but the stone walls really add to the architecture. You've got ceramic tile floors and the back of the house is all glass. Deer actually come through that block mm -hmm. and it's like passive solar. If you want to get a sunshine fix, you go over there and you're setting that house in the afternoon and yeah. sun all afternoon and long. You've got that beautiful stone covered patio off the back of it. Yep. This is the third listing we're showing today and I gotta tell you if you want a big house, this is five bedrooms three full baths and it's right on the way into Belleville uh, it's located the back of it backs up to the Sandy Creek so they actually have water frontage and it's shallow there so if your kids like to go play in the water and <laughs> wait around they'd have a ball uh, actually it's four baths it's four full baths four full baths that was wrong in the title I apologize four full baths and uh, we have a formal dining room uh, at the end of the kitchen Oh, it's open, but it's very nice and bright. A big fireplace in the living room and the uh, gleaming laminated floors. The kitchen is white and bright. Uh, the woods are out around the house. There's a full basement. Lots of room for kids and family. Uh, there's an in-ground pool and a patio and a covered deck yeah. along the back. There's a dog run. Basically everything you want. There's a, a garage barn out there. The master bedroom is undoubtedly one of the biggest I have ever seen. If you get online, you Look will see it. Yeah. yeah, and there's a jacuzzi bath in there as well. There's a picture of the Sandy Creek, by the way, online. It's pretty. Beautiful location. Very good. You just wrap it up. Sorry. Ellsberg, yeah, go ahead. Just reduced to 187.9. Yeah. Uh, they're military relocating, and it is a beautiful house. By the way, there's 2675 square that. feet. That's, That's a big house, That's but the taxes house. are so reasonable. Mm -hmm. Try 2452 a year. Mm. 200 a that. month. You can't beat it as right. No, nope, you cannot. Okay. 2.52 acres. If anybody wants to be out close to Fort Drum and not have to drive very far, this is perfect. It's got six acres of land. It's very private and it's located on the Steinhibler Road, which if everybody knows you go through Evans Mills, there's that ice cream store right up on the corner that goes right in to the right there. Uh, there is a, a two-level ranch built in 08. Yep, these are original owners. Yep. It has five bedrooms and it's beautifully done. Uh, kitchen in the back of the house because what you're looking at in my pictures, if you see the deck, okay, that's actually the back of the house looking at, at the, the land, land. okay? Uh, the house with just the little small deck in the, in the yes. one window faces the road for privacy and they purposely did that so that their views would be of the rolling countryside and the farmland nearby. You can see pictures, there's laminated flooring, there's a nice appliance kitchen in there, there's a family room downstairs, a lot of room for family, kids, guests, whatever. And again, you got the low taxes. Low taxes, low taxes. Low taxes. Indian River School District. Great Can't price. Can't beat it. 235. Mm -hmm. 235,000, 2130 square feet. 2008 new home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, next one is down in Adams, and everybody likes South Jeff School District. This is two doors from the elementary school right on Wardwell Street. And I Great think that street. if you can get on, it is, if you get online and see the pictures, all the colors are very trendy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's clean as a whistle, a uh, nice kitchen in there, pretty old staircase going up, a beautiful enclosed porch, and out back the yard goes out forever. 
Uh, it's well done inside, as I said. It's very homey. It's very comfortable. It's move-in condition. There's nothing you'd have to do. And the beauty of it, it's vacant now, and it's move-in ready. So as soon as you can have your money together, we can close that for you. There's a cozy pellet stove and a little set-down porch in the back to take your boots off. It's the perfect size house. It's 17, 46 square feet. Nice. It's nice, affordable. affordable. Yep. Four, four, four bedrooms, bedrooms yep. one bath. That's yep. a perfect family sized home. Yes, it really is. It's a great price. Yep. Very, very, very nicely done. 1881. Beautiful old house. Oh, and the garage is a barn style. Nice man cave out there. Mm -hmm. Two story. Yep. Okay, here is Your a new brand machine. new one. New yeah. one. Yep. This, this house is just so adorable. I can't say enough about it. It's well priced. It's three bedrooms and one bath. It's over on 351 South Hamilton Street. Is this with a breakfast booth? It's got a breakfast yeah, booth in it. My favorite. Yep. And this bottom is cut stone and the top is cedar shingle. Again, ready for quick oh. occupancy. And in the meantime, we have a great big living room and dining room combined with a fireplace. If you get online, you'll see it. Yep. Um, built in 1920. Nice age. Not a real big house, but very manageable. Great first home for a young couple mm -hmm. or somebody with little kids. This woman actually lived here and brought up her, I think she had two daughters uh, by herself there. And she's done a wonderful job with it. There's built-in bookcases, lot of glass windows, beam ceilings. And the kitchen, as I said, has got that little breakfast booth that's so cute. Cool. Nice front porch yep. your grandchildren pay, play on. You know, a rainy day or a cold day, it's nice to turn them loose and not have them get all wet. Price. Price on that is 108.5. Nothing that. out there to equal. No. Nothing out there to equal. No. This one, folks, I apologize to you. There's no pictures on yet. We just got it listed hot off the presses, and it's 149.9. Four bedroom, one and a half bath, right located at 206 Michigan Avenue. It's a Victorian. Again, it's got an enclosed sun porch. And the flooring in there is laminated. It's just lovely. Whoever put the flooring down did a wonderful job. The beauty of this home is you have a living room, a dining room, and a family room or a playroom, however you want to use it, because it's like double parlors, if you will. Fully fenced yard, basement that's dry, and actually has a door that walks out onto the ground. It's not one of those, you go up Belco doors, because it's built on a little, little incline there. You can walk right straight out to the backyard. Close to the park, two storage buildings. One block. One block. One Can't block. beat it. It's yeah. a nice house for one forty nine nine. This house is ready for quick occupancy. And just before this young family bought it, it had been totally redone. We have four bedrooms and two full baths. Just about our most popular house right now. Yep. Four, bedrooms four bedrooms and two baths. Yep. People want room for the families to come stay when they've deployed. I understand that. And this is nice because they could have a bedroom on the first floor mm -hmm. and have the, uh, have the bathroom right there next to them. They don't have to share with the upstairs. Built in 1881. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. There's a great big kitchen across the back with a pine solid wood tongue and groove kitchen in it. Fully appliced. Uh, there's newer windows and siding. It's been updated throughout. Both of, the, both of the bathrooms have been redone. There's a rear entryway with a pantry storage. And the wood in it, there's a lot of wood if you like wood. It's solid pine. I love the wood in mm -hmm. there. It's very cozy. Yep. The kitchen has it and going up the stairway. Our stairway has it in the breakfast room. The taxes are reasonable. Yeah. Uh, $2,000 a year. Can't beat that. Yeah, great starter home. Mm -hmm. nice. Great for military coming in, folks. Yep. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Okay, here we go. Who wants the St. Lawrence River? Because I'll do. tell you what, this is one <laughs> of the nicest we've seen. Awesome year-round waterfront ranch. Right on Steels Point, as we call it better known by the Clayton people as 332 Riverside Drive. This house was custom built by the owners. They bought the land, literally tore down a little cottage, a little riverfront fisherman's cottage years in 1991 and reconstructed everything here. They have 117 feet of protected water frontage. Amazing. But if you want to get on my website, because this is an exclusive non-MLS listing, it's priced at 6749 dollars they have enough boat, uh, boat slips down there to accommodate six boats. Yep. You, in other words, you and all your friends and, and the, family. The two docks. Two docks. Yep. Uh, but the kitchen is oak. 
they've got golden oak uh, flooring they've got wide pine flooring they got custom bay windows with window box seats it's beautiful and it looks like house beautiful get on our website folks and check Look it out pictures. it is beautiful yep. it is year-round this one's out in Copenhagen and right you know drive a, a little save a lot but it really is right out, <laughs> out of a magazine. magazine and even though this is an older home these folks are offering the one-year HMS buyer warranty which basically the first year you're there protects everything in the house the furnace the wiring the plumbing the appliances anything that breaks down for a hundred dollar deductible they come and they fix it and replace it, it. Yep. you can't hot water heater everything now this is a true Victorian. Yes. You have double parlors, you have gingerbread moldings, gleaming hybrid floors, a nice. decorative open staircase with all that little mm -hmm. gingerbread woodwork, you know. Yeah. And it, the minute you walk in, you can't help but fall in love with it. There's built-in china cabinets in the dining room. There's a bay window nook that you actually can walk into if mm -hmm. you want. A uh, large family friendly appliance. The kitchen is just so homey. It's not ultra modern, but I don't think anybody would change it. There's no. a butler's pantry there. And they have a new wood boiler that's inside. You don't have to go out to load it, and it will heat the whole house. They've got an 1.9 acres, almost two acres, in the village yep. with waterfront going way, way back to the Deer River in the back. Yep. Carriage house, garage, place that, walk a few doors, and you're down to the village. Okay, move to the Lake Ontario year yeah. round. This is Darling. This is known as North Shore Road to the people that are used to the old time road names, known also as County Route 59. It's on our website. It's 198,000. It is year round. Great this photos. man actually ripped it down. Yep. From the top up is all new. Yep. and basically saved a little bit of the footprint downstairs just enough to satisfy zoning requirements we have three bedrooms and two baths and it's not a big house but it's cozy it's, it's cute, cute and the waterfront is to it's die gorgeous. for get online and, and you know when you photos. get over there on that shore yep. you can have a boat a dock that stays in year round mm -hmm. and you can see in the photos he's got a boat lift down there and a great big seawall mm -hmm. he spent a lot of money improving that water frontage yes he has uh, it's just trying to and see that what our dock does stay too yep yep yeah they got a courtyard off to the left 50 feet of waterfront but it's got the crown moldings it's got a gas oh, fireplace vaulted ceilings he is a balcony off the master bedroom upstairs oh, it's cute. it is cute it's got attached garage anybody just wants a cottage it's well worth it for the cottage mm -hmm. with a portable dock can't, and the boys can't be the boy for no you can't no it's a gorgeous piece no. of property yep beautiful Move to the Lake Ontario year-round. Yeah. This is Darling. This is known as North Shore Road to the people that are used to the old-time road names. Known also as County Route 59. It's on our website. It's 198000 It is year-round. This photos. man actually ripped it down. Yep. From the top up is all new. Yep. And basically saved a little bit of the footprint downstairs. Just enough to satisfy zoning requirements. We have three bedrooms and two baths. And it's not a big house, but it's cozy, it's, it's cute, cute, and the waterfront is to it's die gorgeous. for. Get online and, and you know, when you photos. get over there on that shore, yep. you can have a boat, a dock that stays in year round. Mm -hmm. And you can see in the photos, he's got a boat lift down there and a great big seawall. Mm -hmm. He spent a lot of money improving that water frontage. Yes, he has. Uh, I was just trying to and see that what our. dock does stay too. Yep. 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 They got a courtyard off to the left 50 feet of waterfront but it's got the crown moldings it's got a gas oh, fireplace vaulted ceilings he is a balcony off the master bedroom upstairs oh, it is cute it's got attached garage anybody just wants a cottage it's well worth it for the cottage mm -hmm. with a portable dock can't, and the boys can't be the boy for no you can't no. it's a gorgeous piece no. of property yep beautiful historical home with 6.68 .6 acres up behind what we used to know as the Partridge Berry Inn off of Route 3 Black River Road, now known as Fireside Inn, I do believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has been totally restored from top to bottom. You'll see a sign on Duffy Road that says Thornhill. It's built in 1813. It was moved there from New Bremen yep. by this man 
painstakingly to and restored it from top to bottom. He's restored all the architectural integrity over the past 30 years. None of it has been modernized or ruined, mm -hmm. if you will. He's, He's left the, the wide plank flooring, beautiful. the raised panel solid wood mm -hmm. doors are original with the little thumb latch doors yep. that go up and down on them. And the kitchen is a kitchen oh, family room. You'll that. live there. Yeah, you would. You it's would. got a fireplace yep. out there and it's not a traditional kitchen. If you're looking for ultra modern kitchen, this isn't nope. going to suit you. But this goes with the house. There's a few cupboards, but then he has freestanding antique cupboards mm -hmm. that complement it. Now he is very private so please do not drive up in the drive if you want to see it call us and this is another one of your exclusive listings it so is go on exclusive. our website he's, he's left the, the wide plank flooring beautiful the raised panel solid wood mm -hmm. doors are original with the little thumb latch doors yep. that go up and down on them Okay, this Your is other new listing. Another new we listing. A lot of new listings we did. Week. We've been busy over here. These girls, I'll tell you, I keep them hopping. I don't know what I do without Katie and Christine because they're all the time having to put my listings in and hardly have a chance to catch their breath. In fact, they can't catch the breath. But <laughs> I got to say, they're the mainstays for me. Anyway, this is on Ghoul's Corners Road and it's in the Evans Mills, Evans Mills area. So now if you want Indian River schools, which I know a lot of you a folks of love yep. the Indian River, and why wouldn't they? It's like a college campus down there. Beautiful school. Mm -hmm. There's uh, 1,404 square feet. I think she's only the second owner. We have three bedrooms, two full baths, mm -hmm. great big kitchen, and between the garage and the house, there's a breezeway. I don't know if it was original or not, but it seems that with vaulted ceilings, yeah. there's a cozy gas stove out there, and then you walk up a few steps and it's all open to the kitchen. And uh, a huge big living room, a lot of sunlight in there, full basement, master bedroom, master bath, loaded with potential. It's priced this way because it needs some TLC, but it is really a good, a good sound house. Now, if somebody wants something cheap and inexpensive that needs a little TLC, run right up to Harrisville in St. Lawrence County, Pitcairn. They could do right down to Fort Drum, 1,974 square feet, but guess what? It's got 9.40 acres, two-story, three-bedroom with one bath. Uh, nice little house for the money. Can't go wrong. It's an older house, but it's great. Short trip to Fort Drum if you want to go up there and do a little TLC. Property. Okay, now this is some land. If you got somebody that wants to hunt or maybe go build a house up there, there is a cabin up there that I think needs some TLC. Uh, years ago, the man lived there, but over the years it's gone, uh, you know, kind of dormant. And it's up on Lockie Road in Rossi, which is St. Lawrence County, and there's 112 acres, 112.8 acres up there for only 69.9. Uh, it's real pretty country. I got to tell you, it's lovely up there. It's only seven miles from Oxbow, and it's just as pretty as it can be. 69000 Okay. Okay, so today you saw a little bit of me with some new listings and some updates. And our goal here is to get you the fresh updates every week if we can. We are so busy. We're getting new listings that... I know you want to see and I know you don't want to wait till we go on again to do it. So we're going to combine this and change our format a little bit. Don't forget to always think pink. Give us a call 788-7171 or myself 783-1388. We'd love to see you to list or sell you a property. Think pink.